啦啦。Hello, peeps, and welcome back to Prison Architect. I'm Blala, and in Le Corp Jail today, we've arranged for them to come in and build up all of this. So the luxury rooms are going to be installed in completion today. But while they are also getting on with that, I want them to do other things as well. Yes, I do. We are going to go into bureaucracy. We are going to unlock remote access. Surveillance, tasers, body armor. We'll come back to guard towers. Um, yes, indeed. Um, and while we're here, let's have a look at tax relief here. Takes advantage of government tax incentives and reduces your effective corporation tax rate by just 15%. So you will save 1,500 taxes per 10,000 of your daily profit. I think that's worth doing. Um, we've spent a load of money. Might as well keep going. <laughs> and that will also keep the uh these people busy look get the get them get them working on stuff oh he's just tired <laughs> fair enough right um we have loads of gardeners now look i've got 50 janitors 50 gardeners can't remember if i mentioned it or not <laughs> we've been landscaping i've made a nice little seating area here which i'm quite pleased with we've been landscaping we still need to look at lighting um definitely need to look at lighting but i am now interested in starting to use these sort of towers that i that i've built and we need to get in remote access doors because people are starting to use these stuff are starting to use these walkways um and you know my god they keep getting stuck here and it takes forever for staff to get to them so we're going to want to remote access these doors i'm not going to be remote accessing um you know doing remote doors for everything you know like these cell blocks they simply don't need it solitary doesn't need it you know and like these these rooms don't need it so it's mainly going to be for staff based things um we're going to start tapping all the phones indeed we are as well as arming our guards with tasers and protecting them with body armor oh it's going to be great it's going to be a busy busy episode first of all though we are going to allow all this crap to unlock let's wait for that to happen so it's unlocked our well the door control system has unlocked <gasps> how exciting um along with our remote doors oh my god so we're also going to have phone taps and cctv and stuff but as we have our door control system, I say it's worth looking at sorting that out. Now, I think it's worth keeping it out of the way because the door remote access is going to be mainly for staff areas um, and not so much sort of in the prison itself. So we might as well keep it nice and out of the way. Um, let's see here. So I've forgotten how all of this works. So we're just going to... Oh, they can go any way we want them to. That's, that's always nice, isn't it? They can go anywhere we want them to. We're going to stick it there. And uh, we'll see We'll see what that's like. Um, we should probably look at some, some lighting. Lots of lighting. Um, and what we'll do is we'll dismantle these doors so that we can have a fiddle around. Because these are really expensive. And then there's going to be four in this room alone, you see. So we shall have a fiddle and learn how it works from here as i have forgotten it's been so long it's been a really long time it really has in it goes working tirelessly to get the job done Ooh. oh we need power to it okay direct power there we go let's all plonk that in there let's make it all high priority as well so connect <gasps> We can't because we don't have any working servos. So could I put a servo? We'll test. I'm wondering, can I keep this solitary door? We'll have to change it for remote. Let's have a look. So she's putting on the servo. Will it work with our jail door? Connect. There. Do we have to go two ways like that? I'm not sure. Then we need someone to come here. What we might also do is turn this into a staff room. Or shall we? No, we won't. I don't know. Or we could. I wonder if it's a, if it was a staff room as well. If we put the relevant stuff in for a staff room as well, 
Would that mean that they could rest here? And uh, so it means that people would be around for the door control system more frequently? I don't know. Should we lock it open? A minute. I'm loving the noises that are coming from this room. <laughs> Little blink blonks and stuff. It's great. Oh, <gasps> that works. Look, so a gardener came through it and she triggered it. Ah, so we could put a servo. I think it's in the utilities, is it? Servo, yeah. We could put the servo in there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Why have the servos not gone on here? I'm sure I requested that, then. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, because then when I open the door, it cancels the build of it. Oh, jeez. Frustration! <laughs> now I'm too busy trying to make this room look nice as well. And I feel like I want two of these, um, just so that it looks better. But I also want, like, a desk and stuff. I feel like we should have an office desk. <laughs> should have all the things. All the things and stuff. Okay. So these survey doors, after a little bit of research, because they will only be opened with these remote access things, right? They are really good for if prisoners steal keys. They still can't get through these doors without trying to destroy them, but they're pretty sturdy. So I would say, because they're expensive again, they're worth having in specific places, particularly when we start getting to this area. And I think we'll be looking at making this area fantastic next episode. So there'll be a lot of those sort of servo doors in this area. But for a lot of this wall, I think just remote accessing jail doors will do the job perfectly fine so i'm going to remove these bad boys the remote door we'll keep them safe though and we're going to use them in in better places right so what i'm starting to think here is that serve door servos don't work with solitary doors so i think we're going to have to dismantle it's like saying there's a power issue here or something i'm not sure and what i've done is i've also put a power line out here but it still doesn't seem to be functioning so i don't i don't think that's the problem either so i'm starting to think look there's no light on here either no light on it so i'm just thinking that it will not work with a solitary door that's what i'm thinking so we're going to dismantle this solitary door. Replace it with a jail door. And hope that that was the problem. So it seems that body armor has unlocked because <laughs> my money is disappearing to body armor <laughs> equipment. <laughs> en masse. Oh my god. I take, yes, look, they're all. <laughs> They're all purchasing the body armor. Oh my god. I'm pleased though. That means they'll be safer. Look. Do the dogs get body armor? Probably not. But they should. It's an outrage. <laughs> Look at the <laughs> So expensive, isn't it? So, tasers will be next. We'll have the same sort of drainage of cash, but for tasers. <laughs> Look at them. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Look at them all. All running off to the armory. <gasps> but now it doesn't matter what happens to them. Look, so it means that when we start building maximum security, our, our dudes here will have tasers and body armor. Also with maximum security, I know a lot of you are very keen for me to start bringing in dudes with guns. Um, and maximum security is where that will occur. Um, there won't be loads of it, and they certainly won't have free range to fire. Um, but, um, you know, it just helps suppress them a bit, doesn't it? Um, and in max security, they are, they're right bastards. Um, these sorts of areas, the sandy areas, is where uh, snipper riffle towers will be able to go. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to put them in myself. However, um, what... Um, I will do is when I upload this prison to the Steam Workshop, 
you will then be free to put in the snipper riffle tower so i will leave plenty of space because what i will probably do is buy this bit of land and make all this sand and then you'll have the freedom to put in as many snipper riffle towers as you wish um so but it's not really my sort of thing i'm not sure i want them shot in the head to be quite honest um let's connect this one isn't it connect that up there we go now i know i've put two here probably don't need it i don't know how many doors that these control c can control but it's probably to a certain extent reasonably infinite i don't know but uh, i'm going to make this one do all the non-essential doors and then have this one control the really important doors some something like that i reckon something like that we'll see i'm still trying to get this fixed for whatever reason this doesn't seem to be dismantling this this survey door this servo door maybe we could try and dump it it's the thing is is it's really expensive oh oh look oh it's finally worked there we go job in progress so there we go dismantle that we also want this one dismantled um because we're going to put a jail door back in here oh and then we'll be able to see if this will work oh look this servo has has no light on it again what's wrong with this servo door servo it doesn't have a light on it like the others it won't it won't function what am i doing wrong what am i doing wrong? why doesn't this one work i mean i did put power to it maybe it wasn't direct enough if i put that there does it need direct power like a lot of things i don't know don't know. Well, uh, we'll give it a whirl. We're putting a power cable there. Let's put a high priority on that. No. So the pa this this power line has now gone in. Can you see we've got a green dot here that suggests that these are getting power from a power line. This isn't getting it. Shall we? Maybe the power line needs to go outside. Should we? Tr should we try that? No. So that's not worked either. Right, does it have to be right up against it, but not in a wall? <laughs> no. That's not working right. What am I doing wrong here? I, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. D do I have to have it? Let's go all the way around, jeez. Ah, look at that right where's that been triggered from <gasps> somewhere it's picked up power but <laughs> i have no idea where i'm going to start removing them and see if i can find out we know that none of those worked we know that none of those worked i'm going to try and remove that one as well okay so with those removed okay it's a little weird but uh i think i think we've got it largely sussed this still hasn't been dismantled and I can't seem to prioritise this job either. Um, can we dump it and then... Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, let's follow the door. <laughs> I can't... We're going to have to dis just dump it. I don't really want to dump it. I'd like to dismantle it. <laughs> it won't let me. <laughs> what a rip! So it seems that taser training is now approved. Now look, it's 400 per item. Hmm. Is that 400 times 90? Or is it even more? Because we also have 50 dog handlers. So are we saying it would be 140 people? Is that something like 56 grand? Oh my God. Right. Hang on a minute, because I know that there's, um, it's a program, isn't it? And they have to pass, oh look, right, okay, so this just helps stagger <laughs> the tasers going out. So we need a classroom. Okay, so this is not going to be happening anytime soon because I need to plan out the rest of this area. So, <laughs> thank goodness, because yes, overall at the moment we're looking at about 56 grand to get tasers out to everybody. So, um, thank goodness for that program, because then it just helps stagger all the tasers going out, because holy crap, that'd be a nightmare, right? So, 
you can see look as well they've they've done these rooms um they've done these rooms and i've sorted out deployment in these rooms um and what's the hour here look look and all the positions are filled so it looks like we still have plenty of staff to cover what we've built um and yes so these are now the luxury rooms i've got rid of the the fact they're not as you can see here they're not um like max anymore so these are shared because these are the family cells these are the luxury cells um and up here we have no maximum security left at all anymore why does it say that we oh we have four we have four of them but i've got a feeling that they're all in here i don't know maybe not maybe they are all oh hang on a minute are they are they in here should we <laughs> should we see send somebody in there are they in the, are they in here yeah it looks like they're all in here that's fine they can stay in there as well right so we've been doing lots of experimenting and it seems that um i've managed to work out exactly what's going on with all this sort of business um and i've made it into a staff room as well so we'll do that with the rooms where possible because I know that the staff room has to be a certain size. We've decorated it nicely, put windows in and everything. We've made it multifunctional. So this is really great. I'm really pleased with this. Um, as we have the money these days, we might as well just decorate properly as we go. So like I've um, I've uh, like paved all of these. I'm thinking though it might be worth putting lights all along here at some point. Anyway, so pretty pleased with this. What I'm now going to do is go around this wall and we're going to start automating. We're going to start putting in servos so that we can automate this process. So I'm happy with the way that that door opens. And what we're going to do is stick a servo on it and, uh, yeah, go around the entire place and just a look at that. I'm also just covering the doors that separate the prisoners from their areas. And the staff area. So I'm not doing like this because it's a staff door. That's fine. But just getting through this area. So we're going to stick one on this door. And we're going to stick one on um, this gate down here. Although this is probably just a temporary setup. Uh, well, it definitely is. Because we've got all this wall going in. So there'll actually be a blockage here. And stuff like that. But in the meantime, you know, this is getting used a lot might as well sort it out so what i've discovered of course i need to power these servos um and in order to do that i've decided that i would like to run a power line from this unit to do the outside here right but of course so much power is being drained from this power station due to this central area so i've decided it is time to build um uh, they they're having routing problems but i've decided it's time to give this area its own power station so we are bulldozing this building because it's no longer needed and we're building it over here so it'll eventually be in this nice corner here you can see and uh, i've also been putting in sprinkler systems it's taking a little time to to get operational however um if you can see here the two different greens are ready to connect it um, so we just need to cut the power from here. So we're going to do that. We're going to expedite the thing. We're doing it in the middle of the day as well because, um, you know, we like to live life on the edge. Um, so we should now see power to the centre unit full. There it goes. And now we are going to connect this up and again, we just want to prioritize that um, because all the power's down there. There it is. And the power's back on again. Oh, that's, see, that wasn't too bad. And we've managed to swap this power unit. So we've now got three power stations going on, which is fantastic. So the, the trick here is probably to install the servos before you install these remote doors. <laughs> that's what I'm starting to think. Will it help if I lock these open? Would that help? that help them install them who knows now i can't help but notice that it says here 67 prisoners are up for parole i mean that's just mental P 
prisoners. Uh, no, we want no um, programs. Let's have a look here. None of these are actually. None of these seem. People don't seem to be booked into any of these. Let's start a bunch more. Hmm. It's very odd. Now they seem to be booked up. I'm keeping an eye on that. I was thinking I might actually build more parole places. Well, I should probably build more anyway, but I'd like to plan it before I go slamming stuff down. Hmm. There was definitely something going on with parole there. Let's keep an eye on it because that's mental. From what I understand, there used to be um, a maximum of phones you could hook up to these things. So, I'm not sure now, is there? Is that still the case? Again, let's make this a staff room, because why the hell not? Um, yep. And... Let's decorate a little bit. What the hell? Okay. Thanks for that. Why did it pull me away? What? That's not what I wanted at all. Although, look, while we're here, we'll plonk that back in and we have to remove the weight benches from the yard that came in last night so rooms that's that one solved I don't know why it whipped me across the room like that but there we are so I got a feeling they might have a maximum amount that they can have in them I wonder let's um while well, we're waiting for that, should we put some windows in? Actually, not that one. We'll put those windows in like that. Ah, oh, lovely. And some lights. Yes. Um. And then, uh, let's see about this. Ah, it needs power. Right, okay. Run that up there. Get this power. Okay. So here it is our phone tapping device. So if I start hooking this up to all the phones, so let's say the phones here, right, connect. Do do they have does it have to go both ways? Do we have to do that? I don't know. I guess I guess we will. Um but always let me know in the comments if I'm doing something totally ridiculous here. <laughs> Okay, so this is now connecting all the telephones in the yard. Fantastic. Okay, now we also have telephones inside the canteen. And all of these have telephones as well. There doesn't seem to be any limit as far as I can tell. There's no telephones in there. There doesn't seem to be any limit to how many I can hook up on this telephones in here. But... Um, just because I like the idea of having lots of these machines, <laughs> we're going to put in a bunch of these machines. So, they, that one covers the other, I mean it takes more staff to man them this way as well, but I don't care. So, um, let's see here, we're going to do the phone tap, this phone tap, this phone tap. Um, any more? It would be nice to have one more, wouldn't it? But I don't think we're going to have any use for it. Even I don't think I can stretch the use for a fourth one. To be honest. Um, should we put it in for shits and giggles? <laughs> and then it just doesn't need to be manned. But then it looks even. It'll look nice. And frankly, that's what's important. Um but these we kind of need and then that'll be the phone tapping done we'll um and then i'll make the rest of the office sort of match this as well we'll make it we'll make it all nice we'll make it all nice <laughs> look i found a much faster way of doing it just hold shift <laughs> i was wiring them all and thinking this is going so slowly i wonder what happens if i hold shift <laughs> it seemed like the logical button and here we are 
hooking them all up nicely again I still don't know if I need to do it both ways or not so I will um, but is that necessary I don't know and this one seems I do need to do manually like this let me know in the comments below if I need to be doing it in both directions or both directions or if the one direction was indeed enough right with all taps I with all taps with all phones I believe tapped I am now interested in sticking down CCTV now I say this but it's going to take ages to get all that up and running um, so many cameras but I'm thinking it might be nice to just get a couple up and running at least for now so that we've we've got that started and hopefully be able to clear this and grab the the doubloons for that right so this is this is the place where I plan to have that room our CCTV for this area um, now let's see here so staff room we'll make it a staff room again because again this area is big isn't it um, we've got it's a nice big room now objects CCTV right this oh this is a big bastard look at that is that that takes up three we're putting a couple again do they have limits who knows right so CCTV so in objects is it oh my now I can't really see here if we put one there I'm not sure what the range is on these things but hey this would be a nice start can we do CCTV in the <laughs> uh, stick one there see what it's like so we'll, we'll try these out see what this is like Ooh, aren't they fancy okay let's hook them up to a bit of the old power Hook it up to the old power there. Okay, so we've got power. What's this? Guard required to operate. Okay, yeah. Right, so if we now connect to this and this and this and this and this, and then we're also going to want to connect again. <laughs> Do I need to go back the other way? Who knows? But it seems to be doing something. It adds an extra line, so I'm going to say yes, but Again, let me know in the comments if I'm wasting my time with that. Because I could be. Right, so then we need a guard to come and operate this thing. Do I need to do a guard, an actual guard patrol? Guard required to operate monitor. Or is it, I mean, I'm assuming they'll just turn up like they do with this one, right? They'll just turn up. Should we put some lights in here? I don't think this has any lights, does it? Should we put some lights in it? It looks like a face. Let's put... <laughs> it looks like a face. Let's put some lights in here. And speed those up. Because I can't see what's going on. Guards! We need guards! Oh. We have a guard on the wrong one. Can we... Can you go to that one instead, please, mate? Why... Why are you obsessing with that one? There's nothing hooked up to that one! Ah, oh, see, look. And because this is a staff room, he's resting right here. Wow, he doesn't have to travel anywhere for it to happen. That's amazing. Isn't that amazing? I think that's amazing. <laughs> I have all the best plans. Yes, I do. Um, let's... Where's, where's the large window? We'll just carry on decorating this while we're waiting for things to occur. Um, we'll shove... Should we shove that in there? I think we'll shove that in there. Um, we need a drinks machine. We do need a drinks machine. We'll also take a filing cabinet because you can't have two. You, you can never have enough filing cabinets as far as I'm concerned. Um, and then we need a chair with a desk. Where's the desk? Where's, where's the goddamn desk? Where's the desk? There it is. There we go. Lovely. There we go. Wow. Sexy. So the coverage doesn't seem to be too bad with these five cameras. In fact, I'm not sure if that one's, well, I suppose the range, yeah, this one here probably does help just boost the range a little bit in this center part. But if we do it on fast forward, we can see 
a bit clearer sort of what range we're getting um, so there are a couple of rooms here that have blind spots um, but I think that's pretty good I think I'm overall pretty happy with that um, I don't think I'm going to complain too much um, I mean I could put like, one here and one here and try and gain this this middle area but I I don't know how necessary it is. I mean, I have patrols here um, when they're occupying the space most of the time anyway. So, not the end of the world as far as I'm concerned. I think that's probably it for this episode. I mean, we've done so much. We are now tapping phones. We have CCTV a little bit. And uh, we've started to put in automatic doors. And we've got these rooms are now occupied it's going really well really well really pleased with this uh, upgrade and we got the money for that grant as well which is just fantastic so we've still got loads of doubloons in the bank next time i think we are going to 100 percent complete this area indeed that includes the building of this as well and the building of these putting the walls in decorating it decorating all these buildings making it all perfect we'll also have a look at this front gate as well um and we can just hook everything up to the automatic doors and everything it's going to be amazing so that will be the next episode i hope you've enjoyed this episode please hit the like button if you have if you are not subscribed please subscribe it really helps me out and um don't forget to hit the share button down below and um and let everybody know about these videos because it helps me out a whole bunch and i will see you next time bye